Greetings and welcome to my new calculus channel once again. So I want to simply cover this historic geometric identity uh, and show you yet another uh, valid reason or two why it's not the same as this bullshit on Wikipedia, which is the fundamental increment lemma. So over here, um, this term here vanishes at h is equal to zero, okay? And it has nothing to do with slopes in this case. But in my theorem, everything here is related to slopes. So for example, if you have a concave up curve like this, then the tangent line slope will be less than the secant line slope. The tangent line slope will be less than the secant line slope, and it will be positive because it's leaning to the right, okay? Also, if you have uh, uh, a tangent line on this side, it will be negative, and it, it again will be less than the secant line slope, uh, ignoring the negative sign, okay? It will be l lesser in, in slope. On a concave down curve, as you see here, the tangent line slope is greater than the secant line slope in this diagram here, okay? The tangent line slope is greater than the secant line slope. And uh, similarly, again, if it's on this side here, uh, and of course here it's positive, right? Here it's positive. On this side here, it will be negative and it will be greater in magnitude than the secant line slope, okay? Ex excuse my drawing, I am using a mouse, so that's the reason why. Now. Uh, so what does all this tell you? Well, it tells you that the historic geometric identity, this identity here, is, is not about the bullshit of limits or circular knowledge such as limits or infinity or infinitesimals. It simply relates the slope of a secant line, okay, the slope of a secant line to a tangent line. And of course, there's just always a difference between the two. As you see over here, there is always a difference unless you know, you don't have a secant line slope, in which case you just have a tangent line slope, right? So it's always a secant. So, uh, for example, in this case here, you, in, in on the left here, where you have the, uh, the uh, secant line having a greater slope than the tangent line, you would obviously subtract the difference. And if it's, the secant line here has a uh, as a smaller slope than the tangent line. Then again, you're looking at the difference, aren't you? So, so let's let's look at this clearly. In this case here, the tangent line slope is greater than the secant line slope. So the difference is basically just the tangent line slope minus the secant line slope. And same over here. Now over here, the the secant line slope is greater than the tangent line slope in both cases. So we'd have the difference being this here, right? Okay, so it's pretty simple. Now, um, but what the Holy Grail does in its incredible genius is that it relates these slopes. Okay, it relates the slopes. So for example, to, to show you that the Wikipedia stuff is garbage, um, if for example, the secant line slope is smaller than this uh, tangent line slope, then this couldn't disappear. <laughs> okay, because you'd need to subtract some value from the tangent line slope to get the secant line slope. So obviously, just what you see here is absolute gibberish. It's uh, Babylonian confusion. It means nothing. It's, its correct name is not fundamental increment lemma. It's fundamental excrement lemma, like the kind of excrement you find in Swedish universities. You know who I'm talking about, right? Marcus Kleiber, Zelos Malum, and all the fucking morons that are in Sweden. Now, uh, somebody wrote on my channel, when a true genius appears in the world, you may know him by the sign, that the dunces are all in confederacy against him. Well, guess what? The dunces are in confederacy against me. And, I mean, you take somebody like Stephen Hawking. Everybody agreed with him, well, <laughs> because he's a dunce. He was a dunce. Um, 
Albert Einstein, everybody thinks he's a genius. He was a dunce, okay, because every, every dunce is not in confederacy against him. Believe it or not, this is generally true. Stupid people will gravitate to the, to the person that they identify with most. In other words, they, they will tend to find agreement in someone who reminds them of themselves. It's typical also with Trump supporters, Donald Trump supporters. They will support him because he's uh, out of shape, fat, ugly. He has a foul mouth. He has no scruples. He loves to cheat. He loves to be uh, rich without doing much work, etc., etc. Okay, so they all have these traits in common. And so people will automatically gravitate to someone who has characteristics in common with them. Unfortunately, the world is full of stupid people. Okay. So that's all I wanted to say without belaboring the point. Um, my name is John Gabriel. And before I sign off, if you're not already a subscriber, become one. Click like as I have many enemies and follow me on academia.edu. This is the site. I'll place all the appropriate links. And remember, the historic geometric identity was discovered by me, not by any of the dunces in the mainstream, okay, those who are in confederacy against me. The Jack Hazingers, the Terran Styles, the Gilbert Strangs, all those morons who have bad-mouthed me in the past, okay. All those uh, shitty sites like Quora, uh, Reddit, uh, Mastack Exchange, they're all garbage. They're all dunces. And yes, I am the one who's a true genius, and you shall know it by the very fact that they're in confederacy against me, by the fact that they established many websites. Some actually had the sense to take them down. I think right now of Dennis Muller and his uh, logical fallacies. He had it going for a few years and then realized he was an ass and took it down. Okay, so that's pretty much it. My name is John Gabriel. This is New Calculus Channel. Till next time, goodbye.